we were just swaddling her, I think, for one of the first times. Jamie Murray's home is filled with photos. That one definitely is my favorite. Images plucked from the memories of a picture-perfect family. It's nonstop from the moment you get up. Daughters Olivia and Emily, the twins Jet and Knox, and baby Penelope. I stop and look at the pictures on the wall every day, several times a day. <laughs> Diana Weldon took many of these photos, including this maternity shoot, weeks before Penelope was born. But little Penelope never made it home. April 15th, 2017. It was always first thing in the morning. I could always feel her moving. That's kind of what woke me up, and I didn't feel anything. A trip to the hospital confirmed her fears. At nearly 37 weeks, Penelope's heart stopped beating. I knew, like, deep down that there was something wrong. Murray reached out to Weldon, who could relate on the deepest level. We ourselves had a stillborn daughter about eight years ago. Weldon is now the area coordinator for Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, an organization that takes professional photographs of stillborn infants. When you leave the hospital without your baby, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to see them again. I hope I don't forget what they look like. So I want to capture their details. I want to capture what they look like, who they were. Ten perfect toes, a tiny face crowned with a headband. This is how Jamie Murray's family remembers Penelope. When they look at those photographs, they feel that their baby was loved and their baby was important. I definitely wanted them to be out, you know, with all the rest of our pictures because she's a part of our family. Murray says she feels Penelope's presence every day, talks about her frequently with her daughters, and will do the same with the twins when they get older. Those precious pictures keep her baby girl alive. That's all we have, you know, so those are our, those are like masterpieces to us. There's nothing that can heal the heartache of losing a child. Grief is really hard. Um, it's a long journey and it's, you feel very alone. So any little thing that is helpful in that journey is, is so important. But a photograph can ease the pain, cementing a memory of a little girl so dearly loved. In St. Augustine, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.